Hello, everyone, and welcome into week 10 of the Raven Monica Show. We are once again joined by our special guest, Coach Monica. And Coach, last week you guys went up to Slippery Rock to face the number six team in the country and did end up suffering a loss. Can you talk about that game a little bit and what you saw from your guys? Well, anytime you play a top caliber football team, uh, it, you know, it's a, it's a challenge. We was excited about the challenge. I thought our guys played extremely hard. Uh, they, they fought for, for four quarters. Uh, you know, Slippery Rock did a really good job throwing the football against us. Uh, they converted on a bunch of third downs. We had them a lot of times in second and long. And, you know, the quarterback does a good job, offensive protecting. And, and the wide receivers made some really good good plays. Uh, but, you know, we did have them in fourth down and goal on a one three times. We did stop them once. It was with a huge momentum in the first quarter. And then the offense went out there and got us all, off the, the goal line. Uh, we had some momentum there uh, uh, starting the second quarter when we faked the punt. And, um, you know, thing happened, we threw interceptions. I thought we had things headed in the right direction. But, you know, you got to give credit to, to Slippery Rock. Uh, they did a great job stopping our run, made us throw the football. Uh, I thought our guys on defense did a good job stopping the run. Uh, but, you know, they executed very well in the passing game. Right, so coming up this next week, you have your last home game, and it's actually your senior day. Can you talk about what that means for your guys? You know, that's the last time these seniors is going to be playing in that stadium. Um, you know, it's very important for them to go out with a win in, the, in that stadium. And I know the players are going to rally behind the seniors uh, for, the, for this game. Uh, IUP has a very good football team. You know, they lost a couple really close games by, by one point and should have easily won them. Uh, but, you know, they wound up uh, losing last week on, on a field goal right at the end of the game. And I think they're, they're a very good football team. They, some, some breaks have went the wrong way for them. But I'm looking forward to an exciting football game this weekend. Right. So this morning, you and your football team went down to CL Elementary School and welcomed the kids into school today. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, well, I appreciate the players coming out early in the morning and, and going to the elementary school. Uh, you know, snowing a good bit this morning. But, you know, going out there and, and seeing those kids, the, the smiles on their face when, when you're greeting them to come, come in uh, uh, to school in the morning uh, is, is very special. And, you know, I know the, the, the players really enjoyed that today. And I'd like to thank, uh, you know, Clarence Lines Sioux Elementary for, for having us. Because, uh, you know, I know that, you know, there's, there's future Golden Eagles there uh, that will, will come to this university. Absolutely, Coach. I have one last question for you. Joining us next on the show is your defensive backs coach, Coach Jones. Can you talk about what he brings to your coaching staff? Well, you got a guy who's played in this league and, uh, you know, he knows what it's about. Uh, there's no question about it. Having him back there has helped the secondary a great deal, along with Coach Durish back there also. So we've been improved a great deal, and uh, he's a big part of it. Awesome, Coach. Thanks so much for your time. Can't wait to talk to you next week. We are now joined by defensive backs coach Shaq Jones. So, Coach Shaq, this is your first year at Clarion. What has that experience been like for you? Well, Clarion has been a, a, a pleasure. Uh, being someone that played in the, in the conference of the PSAC, it, uh, it was really good just getting back into the conference, uh, playing some familiar teams and stuff like that, uh, and then looking to, to bring Clarion some, some new success. Right, so you're a fairly young coach. What got you into coaching in the first place? Uh, well, I finished playing in 2019. Um, after that, I looked to uh, get into working out of, out of, out of college. Um, coaching was really never an interest of mine. I actually had a close friend of mine that went to high school with me who was a coach. Um, I ended up going to one of his practices, and everyone was asking me, like, come on, coach, come on, coach. And uh, I ended up giving in, started a seven-on-seven team. Uh, I wasn't looking to do it long term. Uh, but I've seen the reaction of the kids and um, how I can help them grow and how they gravitated towards me, and I just uh, couldn't leave that commitment. Right, so you talked about being back in this conference and knowing some familiar teams. That's because you played your college ball at IUP. Yeah. What's it going to be like coaching against them this coming Saturday? Well, like I said, it's good to be back in the PSAC, uh, just seeing familiar teams. Um, and then IUP, the one that I actually played at, uh, it, it would ju just be that much more sweet uh, to get that win versus those guys. Uh, it'll be good seeing um, coaching against some guys that coached me uh, and then um, coaching some players, right, that I, that I played with. So that'll be interesting. Right, so you last played in 2019, so you're newly removed from playing football. What has that brought to your coaching approach, being such a young coach? Well, being someone who's uh, so freshly removed from the game, I try to be uh, as empathetic as possible with these guys, uh, understanding their struggles as a student athlete. 
Um, so I try to treat them as I, as, as I did myself, you know what I mean? Try to be patient with them, but just challenge just as much though, but just understanding that they're going through something that I personally went through that wasn't just all sunshine and rainbows, yeah. Right, Coach, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Go Golden Eagles and wings up.